Hey there, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. It's a Friday night grocery haul. It has been a day, it's been a week, but um, here in our county on Good Friday, we have half a day of school. It's a very easy day of school, <laughs> but um, half a day. So as soon as school was over, I started grocery shopping, Easter shopping, all of that stuff, because I just have not had time to do it this week. I decided to shop in person this week instead of doing um, pickups because I just, I needed to go in. You know, every once in a while, I just need to go in because of gluten-free stuff. Um, let's see, last week was my $64, $65 pickup before I got my shot, my second COVID shot. I spent $15 this week on some like apples and cereal and a few things like that. And that was it, that's all. Um, I think I got Carolina Lunchable, but it was $15 in stuff is all. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, I, um, made a list. I've got a, a, a meal plan for this week, made a list. Let's see. I spent, let me turn you in circles here at Kroger 249. The first Walmart I spent 1942 and the second Walmart I spent 42.36. I have not even added that up. So what? 20.62 plus 2.50. So I spent like 300 and $12 this week, but I have been under grocery budget most of the month and we, we needed to stock up on some stuff. I had some really great coupons. I had a, at Kroger, I had a 19 off $190. I had like a dollar off of some, uh, Brazi Bites empanadas that was expiring 40 cents off juice and it was on sale. I think I ended up paying like 49 cents or 59 cents for the juice. Um, a dollar 10 off of our gluten-free bread. I had um, a free, a coupon for free, bare naked granola, and then I had another coupon for $1.25 off of two, and they let me stack them. <laughs> I, I was like, well, if I, I put the $1.25 off on top because it expired soon, I figured I'd use the free one later if I needed to, but it let me use them both. So Walmart, I ended up with 75, I'm sorry, 75 points, fetch points total, and Kroger 287. Um, I bought a, a dollar back at Walmart and 930 back from Kroger and that's before I get any bonuses or anything I'm waiting to see. So um, this is my Walmart haul and the other two I've got over here are my Kroger hauls and so we'll get into it and I'll show you what we got this week. Okay so part of this I, I went to two different Walmarts today because of Easter stuff um, like everybody is sold out of everything. There's not a strawberry to be had that's not rotten in this town. If you can find one, it's rotten and nasty. I'm hoping if I get up really early in the morning, I can find some fresh strawberries. That's all I like for Easter stuff that I'm making. So anyway, this was the first one. Oh no, this was a combo of the two Walmart hauls. I didn't get anything cold or frozen at the first Walmart because it was in the next town over. Anyway, finally did find some Easter eggs. We cannot find our eggs anywhere and I know Caroline's gonna wanna hunt eggs on Sunday. So I got some classic white, the Ghirardelli chips. And then I also got some of the Enjoy Life chips for a recipe I am making for Sunday. My nephew is dairy free and you can't find white chips dairy free. So I'm gonna make him a small little batch with the dark chips of the Easter bark I'm making. It should still taste good. It's literally chocolate chips, butter, which I got dairy free butter and marshmallows <laughs> and sprinkles. Uh, Caroline was asking for some more of the cookies and cream yogurt. So I got her four of those. We needed more pencils. My kids like take these and lose them. And I, I just like having them uh, some of the uh, mechanical ones around. So I grabbed some pancake and waffle mix for this week. I grabbed some protein waffles for Wheeler. Uh, cannot find the gluten-free ones at Kroger. So that was one of those things I had to get at Walmart. Um, I totally forgot zucchini at Kroger, so I grabbed some zucchini. We're going to make the buffalo chicken uh, potato bites or buffalo chicken zucchini bites this week. I'm going to use zucchini. Tricolor coleslaw. I am making fish tacos this week. So, got some grapes. I grabbed a half a gallon of milk because we still have some. Some more of the fat-free cheddar cheese for me. And, and we are going through this stuff like crazy. So, I grabbed another two-pound one for the kids some vanilla ice cream because at the first walmart i found gluten-free ice cream cones the kids are going to be thrilled um 
paper plates because Walt the Kroger didn't have any, just like that I can use every day here. I'll show you what I got there over there in a minute. Uh, Wheeler requested whole strawberries, uh, frozen strawberries rather, for some smoothies or something. I forgot to get shredded hash browns at Kroger, so I grabbed those. And then I could not find the tahini for my fish tacos, which the recipe called for. I've never made fish tacos. We had them when we went to the beach a couple years ago, and I decided I wanted to try to make some. So I grabbed the tahini. I think that's how you say it. Okay, I'm gonna start with the produce. This was the produce from Kroger. I was totally out of everything except some bananas that I had picked up on Tuesday in that $15 shop I did. I mean, like we ate everything. <laughs> so I was really proud of us though. So I grabbed some avocado. These will have to sit for a few days before they're ready. I want to do some avocado toast this week. I grabbed some limes. That is for my taco, fish tacos some scallions and a shallot and cilantro. Like I said, most of this is probably for the fish tacos. Ooh. I don't know if that one's good. I don't know. Anyway, mini sweet peppers, uh, some carrots. I always get the 40 cents off carrots coupons. We eat them. Carolina and I, I'm hoping the sugar snap peas are in better season than they were the last time I bought them a couple months ago because they were gross. Uh, a couple of bags of the uh, salad mix. I grabbed a sweet onion, a red onion, apples, broccoli, blueberries, great tomatoes. Those were on, um, uh, Caroline loves them. So I figured, I think they were $1.49. Asparagus was 99 cents a pound. I probably should have gotten two. If I go back to Kroger anytime this week, well, it's still on sale. I'll probably grab another one. Caroline and I love asparagus. Pineapple was $1.29. So we got pineapple and Wheeler is really on a health kick. So I grabbed some kale. I'm gonna make him some kale chips and see if he likes them. And since we have some yellow bananas, I went ahead and got some green bananas. Whew. Okay, where to start? <laughs> um, I got a little bit lazy. I decided I did not want to make hamburger patties. This is gonna be a week of cleaning, packing. So we're prepped and my sister and I decided to have a yard sale next weekend. So. <laughs> I uh, figured a little bit of convenience on some nights too. So we got bacon cheddar beef patties and we were totally out of chicken. Um, uh, let me move this over. Okay, so Butterball, um, this, there was an Ibotta, I had a coupon and there was like in the back of the Kroger app, like you can get in there and get cash back on some things. And I think there was like a 35 cent back cash back on uh, in the Kroger app, I think. I got like 50 cents cash back on what I bought today. Uh, I had 75 cents off half pounds of deli meat. So I got a pound of the Black Forest ham and a pound of the Wildflower Honey Turkey. Actually, well, hmm, a little over a pound. No, I was, yeah, a little over a pound. I was looking at that price. I thought thinking that's what I paid, but no, that's what I paid too. So I grabbed some gluten-free rolls for Easter uh, dinner Sunday. We are having baby back ribs. So <laughs> um, some Rudy's gluten-free bread. I had a coupon for a dollar ten, I think, off of that. I grabbed some turkey hot dogs for this week because we'll. I, actually, I meant to grab some regular hot dogs for the kids too, but they'll eat these. They they don't really mind turkey. Uh, Wheeler had also requested frozen blueberries, so I got him some of those. I had a coupon for Vans uh, blueberry, uh, or Vans waffles. So I got some blueberry ones for the kids for this week. I got some turkey bacon. There's those Brazi Bites empanadas. And I had a dollar off coupon for those. And they were on, I think these were on the buy five, buy five, 10, say five. Uh, tater tots for this week. I don't think that's the right fish for my fish tacos. I think I should have gotten mahi, but it was so much more expensive. And you know, we're not connoisseurs of fish. I figure we won't know the difference right away. Um, <laughs> so, uh, actually the tilapia, the whitey, and the Pacific cod was on sale. So grab some more of these. Caroline can make those by herself during the day. I grabbed another pizza for the kids for this week. That's, you know, $10 of it. This right here was actually, let's see, 10, like seven, I think, like seven ninety nine. dollars So that's a good chunk of our grocery budget right there. Some convenience foods for um, this week for lunches and whatnot. I don't plan for us to eat out any, I plan for us to be here 
eating here or if we go somewhere, we'll take our lunch with us. So the, I got some of these. They were, I think they were on sale, but I also had, um, there was an Ibotta and I had a coupon and it made them pretty cheap. I did not remember how much, but it, I think there was even a, maybe in the back, in that cash back on Kroger. So I grabbed some P3s just to have here at the house. I grabbed me some more of the Carb Master yogurts. I've got five of those. I grabbed Wheeler four of the cream, orange cream yogurts. I grabbed, okay, I don't know about, I've gone back on Weight Watchers with my aunt and my mom. And I grabbed the fat-free cream cheese in case I need it for anything. Um, I, I know it doesn't taste as good, but you know, in a pinch it'll do for a little something if I need it. So the Lando Lakes butter was cheaper on the buy 10, save five than the Kroger butter with my coupon. So I grabbed one of those. You could not get 18 eggs, which I totally forgot Easter weekend, you know, people are coloring eggs and I was getting all ticked off. I couldn't find 18 eggs because I have coupons for those. But, so I just got two dozen, um, the plant-based butter for my nephew uh, to make that uh, dessert. Some cottage cheese, there is a, and I bought a for that. I got a small uh, plain Greek yogurt to use for dishes for me. Wheeler needed another Chobani. Uh, keep going here. Two of these, um, I think they came out to about the same price as the Kroger brand by the time the Ibotta rebate came back. The only kind of colorful marshmallows I could find were the Jet Puff, but I did get fetch points on those. So this is for the um, tacos, and also if like Caroline wants, or Wheeler, they want um, like just cheese quesadillas this week for lunch. I did grab another gluten-free Oreo, it was on sale. Um, let's see, the cacao or cacao and cashew butter, that is Wheeler's favorite granola, and he is really loving the granola bite. I had a coupon uh, for, I think it was a dollar, 75 cents or a dollar off of two ragu, and I think there was also an Ibotta on that. The non-dairy almond milk ready whip for my nephew, the regular for the rest of us, and I mean, honestly, I like this, it's good. I could not find the full size <laughs> Uh, chocolate rice cakes for Caroline, so I got her the little ones. They were out of so much. The two apple juices I talked about earlier, I tore the box up on accident. That was my fault, so, but more gluten-free checks. Wheeler also called and asked for some corn chips because he thinks we have some nacho cheese dip like he found in the back of the fridge. Uh, no sugar added fruit. I um, don't drain this, and I put it in um, just put it, oh no, I do drain it. I'm sorry, I drain it, but I don't drain it dry. I just drain it, you know, pour it into a colander and then pour it over into a bowl and add a package of uh, vanilla or cheesecake sugar-free pudding mix and it makes a very low point on Weight Watchers sweet treat. That's still pretty healthy. More dill relish because we're gonna make tuna salad, chicken salad, that kind of thing that's stuffed this week. Chicken, or, I'm sorry, tuna for Wheeler. I grabbed a couple of the Annie's gluten-free pastas. Kroger did not have the four pack I could buy, so I grabbed those. I grabbed, I think we're gonna have fajitas one night. So I grabbed the uh, fajita skillet sauce with chipotle and lime. Hopefully we like it. Never tried that before. I had a coupon for a dollar off of two Star Kiss pouches. Oh, this is going forever. There's the chipotle peppers and adobe sauce for my fish tacos. I grabbed a baked beans for um, a side one night, some strawberry preserves we were totally out of. We were also totally out of breadcrumbs, gluten-free breadcrumbs. Wheeler also asked while I was gone for me to pick up some sunflower seeds. I don't, he's got a plan. Uh, <laughs> I like the Skinny Girl Honey Dijon dressing. It's a little thin, but I like it. Um, and it's zero point if you're on Weight Watchers. So, milkshake straws for all of the smoothies. Caroline loves to sit and eat baby dills. That's what I do too. Um, all right, almost done. She needed a body poof thing for the bathtub or shower. Um, I grabbed this for various things. I, want, I really want a an olive oil sprayer, but this will work for what I need it for for now. Um, they did have bowls at Kmart, so I grabbed some bowls. 
they had these that are normally $9.99. They are the Simple Truth 100% tree free dinner plates made from sugar cane fiber, 75 count. They were $3.99 on clearance. No, $3.50. And so I grabbed one of those because I don't know if my mom, what she was planning for Easter. And I was like, well, even if she doesn't, I'll have them here for like, if people come over and help me pack and clean and stuff and I'll get pizza or whatever. <laughs> I did grab some big trash bags for cleaning and I had a coupon, 60 cents off of two cutlery, <laughs> my baskets that go in my car, I take them back out, and paper towels. Woo! That was fast. And that is my shop for the week. Um, I'm hoping next weekend, though, with the chicken and with the just everything we've got, that I won't need much. Some fruits and vegetables. Um, and uh, let's see. Probably fruits and vegetables. Maybe paper towels again. Um, possibly a little bit of meat. Maybe not. So I, I hope to keep it like 50 bucks or so next week, maybe 60. Again, um, next week is the last, like next weekend shop will be the last shop in this budgeting cycle that I do. And I'm right at my grocery budget for the month. Um, so I'm hoping not to need much, but I knew this week would be big. Going into it this today, I knew this week would be big. And technically I could, I probably could move about 15, $20. I can figure it up over from my Easter uh, budget fund um, to the grocery and kind of because uh, resupply that a little bit because a lot of this is technically for Easter for Sunday. Uh, so anyway, I don't know. I'm gonna look at all that probably tomorrow. I'm tired and see what I can do. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and I will see you next time. Bye.